the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Science gives me the biggest power to make a difference in the world, um, and I'm definitely looking for a brighter future. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Salberger. We're here in Northfield, Vermont at Norwich University for the 52nd annual Vermont State Science and Mathematics Fair. that kids our age are thinking of this stuff and doing it by themselves. People were doing the most unbelievable things and I was like, you're my age, like that's crazy. It's our, our first time. No. Actually, this is my second time. Well, I've been doing my, the science fair for three years now. We have about 170 students presenting about 160 projects. <laughs> they cover all areas of science, math, technology, and engineering. These kids are incredibly bright. They're motivated. They are picking very important subjects. They're dealing with energy and water and a lot of our pressing issues today. Because energy is like the big thing in the U.S. right now. It's interesting to look at the different projects and like how everything is so different. And it's just really fun to be with a lot of other people who really enjoy learning and wanted to make like, wanted to show everyone what they found with their data. The science fair is such an amazing experience for students. They're doing work that shows that they're alive and awake and that they're really deeply interested and passionate. The kids are empowered to solve the questions and problems that they have. And so it was a really great experience to just be doing an experiment in my own basement, you know, putting together my data, seeing what I could do with that. And I never expected that it would get me to the international level. Well, in the world right now, the U.S. isn't doing so great in math and science. Now, we're trying to prove to the, to the government that it is getting better. We inspire kids and reward them for doing inquiry. I'm going to win a gold medal, and I'm going to win a lot of scholarships. So if anybody has any doubts about education in Vermont, they should come to the State Math and Science Fair. I would encourage all the parents and all the schools to participate in this program. So here's one of my metal objects that is not magnetic. Here's a key that is magnetic. I'm doing magnets, attraction and repulsion. I created an, an electromagnet. But as soon as they let go, the circuit can't be completed. Well, my project was researching dredging as to whether it has an adverse effect on water quality. After Tropical Storm Irene, it got decimated, the whole town was ruined, lots of flooding. So I did my research and I found that the water quality came back to near previous levels. I burned wood with this calorimeter and white pine did the best. You should use that to heat your home so you're not cold. Dissolved oxygen is oxygen that's literally dissolved into the water. Well, I wanted to test what weather conditions affect dissolved oxygen. Our project is turning poop into power using these microbial fuel cells that we made. We put the sanitary waste in the anode and um, salt water in the cathode, and it works kind of like a battery. We're hoping in the future there would be a wastewater plant that could create enough electricity to sustain its own operations, which would solve two major world problems. The excess human waste that's produced on a daily basis and the lack of renewable energy sources we have today. So my project was on what material was the best home insulator. In America, we don't have that many energy resources, and insulation is a way to save a lot of energy. I learned that temperature is very important when it comes to chemical reactions. What got us thinking is how infested is the average household. And we tested to see if a room has a large amount of human and animal traffic, it will result in the most microbial growth. So even though the world or your house is teeming with germs, not all of it's going to make you sick. We learned a lot. <laughs> Science doesn't always get the um, celebration and emphasis that it really deserves. A lot of the engineers in this state are actually imported from other states. And do you think someday maybe you might be hiring one of these guys? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we really hope so. And so these science fairs just really showed me and like opened the world of science even more up to me. Especially if it has to do with chemistry because it's my favorite subject. Yeah, I'm really interested in biology and microbiology. Everyone's learning new things every day about science. Science explains why everything's the way it is, how this becomes this, 
why it becomes it. I think that no matter what you do, you have to have knowledge. I couldn't imagine myself going anywhere without like education. Yeah, yeah we're going to college next year. I just really love learning how everything around me works. It was just nice to see people thinking about renewables, and these kids get it. They understand that the state and the earth are going to be experiencing challenges. The problems are so big that can we actually do anything? You know, I'm just one person. Can I actually do something? You can do something. Everybody can do something. We are living in a different world. These kids are going to take the country to the next level. I'm confident that we, as the future generation of leaders of our world, do have the potential to make a difference. There's no limit to what we can do. Science has no limits. It'll be tough, but we can do it. <laughs>